Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Sunshine on Leith, episode 82. Well, we've had our Champions League draw, and I gotta say, it didn't go quite how I might have <laughs> hoped, although honestly there were no good easy teams to be had in the Champions League. Not in the quarterfinals. Um, but we drew, as you can see, Man United. The only good news about it is that we've got the second leg at home. So that'll give us a chance, hopefully, to come back and, and sneak our way through the semi. I am hopeful. Yes, I have to be hopeful. They did destroy Lowell, um, Olympique Lyon, um, 9 nothing in the previous round. 9 nothing. One nothing at their park, and then eight nothing at Old Trafford. Wow. Anyway, before that, we've got the Celtic uh, Scottish Cup quarterfinal replay match. So let's get on with that. Um, yep, looks like the right team. Squad, everybody's fit. Let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. So I'll take our favorite slightly, only because we're in their park. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Yay. back for Brown. Brown with the launched ball and it's a penalty. Caught and taken down immediately and that's going to be a penalty. Poyak to take because he always takes him. Oh, he finally missed one. He's usually so good. Oh, that's too bad. Toyama for Korach to Toyama again. Cotton. A white for Brown. Brown's into the box. Bam! Slivka bashes it home. And a few minutes after the missed penalty, we've got the goal anyway. 62% possession. We are absolutely clobbering them so far. Let's just keep that up. Brown sneaks into the box and cuts it back for Slivka for the easy goal. I don't know why I haven't got much voice today, but that's life. Hey, their team's looking frustrated already. I like it. I like it. Cleared. Archer to take. He runs with it a little ways, but then gives it to Cotton. Cotton for S Brown to Slivka. Back through to McGinn. Oh, his shot is picked up by the goalkeeper relatively easily. Still moaning about the not having anybody on the corners. Ooh, Cotton on the post at the corners, I mean. Well, they're coming back into it in terms of possession. That's not unexpected. We are in their barn, so... the first time I've seen Celtic using a two-striker setup. Another penalty! And a booking. And Poyet gets to try again. Nail this one, buddy. Yes! Two-nothing. Sixth goal, and I'm pretty sure they've all been penalties. Look at the frustration on the Celtic side. Oh, I like it. I like it so much. Let them be frustrated to hell. 
Well, they got themselves sorted out here, but hey, that's well done. Cotton, what a turn! Oh, great save. Great save. What a turn. Did you see that spin move he did? That was excellent. Oh, man, at the post actually prevented a goal. Look at that. <laughs> It happens so rarely that I really don't care about putting a man on the post because it's almost never actually effective. So I'll give up the occasional goal for that. And give up fewer goals because I have an extra man to guard people with. Because that's the thing about putting a man on the corner post. It's useful in only, only insofar as it actually prevents goals. If it doesn't prevent goals, then it's a waste of time. And if you're wasting your time, you might be better off getting better defensive results from playing that guy out in the field and, and letting him mark somebody. Especially because it's usually a fullback who's got reasonably good defensive abilities. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Nothing you can do about that. Look at the chances we've had. We've had eight chances. Come on, boys. You can do this. Taken down nicely. And again, Toyama, Slivka. How wide for Brown? Can Brown beat his man? No. But he finds Cotton with a gorgeous pass. Oh my goodness. What a cross from Brown. Right to the foot of Cotton who volleys it in. Oh, that's worth watching again. God, we play sexy football. Look at this. Doo, bang! Straight up volley. Over his shoulder. I once, I think I may have said this on a previous episode or something, but I once playing goalkeeper, um, I used to play goalkeeper a lot, um, gave up a goal, which was easily the best goal I ever gave up. Oh my goodness. She was running straight down the middle and pursued by a couple of our... Oh my goodness, Slivka, with the fourth goal. Pursued by the, um, by the defender, but the defender wasn't going to get there. The ball was punted up the field by their goalkeeper. Got just over the halfway line. She took it down, um, ran a few steps, and then just blasted it into the goal. Um, it was just an amazing piece of work. The ball came over her shoulder, she took it down off her thigh, played it out in front of herself, and then ran on and, and scored the goal. It was just... all I could do was applaud. I mean, it was just an unstoppable goal. Funny thing is, I actually saw the same player years later... Oops! I saw the same player years later at a function of some sort, and she was really unhappy about something. She was crying, as a matter of fact. And so I told her about this goal that I remembered and always will remember, and I made her smile. So, uh, bad luck, Ripley. He makes a good save, but Wilson is there to hit the rebound in. Hmm. There's nobody out there who really looks like they need to be replaced at the moment. How about Korach? He looks like he could use a rest. We'll have Agor come on for his spot. Or... Yes, no, we'll have Agor come on there. Melendo for Toyama with the yellow card, and Smith for Slivka with the yellow card. I know Slivka's on a hat trick, but... I don't want to risk having him sent off and playing the last ten minutes without a, with a sh player short. It's just an old habit of mine. I, when I've got 
subs and I don't have any other reason to take somebody off, I'll go with the yellow cards. Oh, Hagor steals the ball. Well done. Runs with it. Slivka. No, Smith. Cotton steals. Brown. Melendo. Back to Brown. Brown into the box. Ooh. Deflected, and he has to make the save. We've had 12 chances. They've had seven. This has been a crazy game. Nobody can say we don't provide entertaining football. Lots of goals, goals and goals and goals. But the most important part is we're going to the semi-final. In just a moment. And we already know that we're going to be playing Dunfermline in the final in the semi-final. So, we've got a championship opponent. Ah, uh, la la la. <laughs> A good win, boys. Well done. Where's Slivka? Oh, he's delighted. I'll leave him there. I know he's going to be cranky about the whole hat trick thing. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. Good. I want to just make sure that he understands why I took him off. That was well done. We're happy, happy. Praise Slivka for being superb in front of goal. There we go. We went in the Scottish Cup quarterfinal. We got 20 grand. Got to Firmland in the... Uh, Rogers disappointed. La la la. Less than convincing defensively. I thought we were fine. Fraser Murray, yay, I'm great. Lots to be said for stability. Why do I want to play in the final? That's silly. I can't play the Infirmal and Athletic because we're playing them in the semi-final. So if I have a choice, it's obviously Queen of the South, but I'm not going to. I'm not giving anybody any dressing room motivation. <laughs> All right. It's time to take a break. We'll be back with the um, away leg for Man United. We're going to Old Trafford, but I've got a couple of games to play first, so I'll be back with those. Well, no, I'll be back with the Man United game. I'll play the other ones offline. See you soon. And we're back. Great time off between games. Uh, we managed to beat Partick 2-1 with two goals from Cotton and Hearts 2-0 with a goal from Cotton. What this means for Cotton is he now has 40 goals on the season. And in his two and a half seasons with with Hibernian, he has now scored 100 goals. 100 goals. I mean, wow! That's just crazy talk. How would you, wow, you know? Wow. Uh, let's get Salazar in for F.A. Ambrose. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Oh, I'd like Toyama on the bench. Yep. That looks good. Alright, we're ready to go. Now, I know conventional wisdom would say that since we're going to Old Trafford, maybe the toughest place to play in Europe right now, we should go counter. This team just beat Stoke 5-0. Um, and, you know, let's let's have a quick peek at their team here. Ooh, <laughs> their goalkeeper's worth more than our team. In fact, pretty much half their team are worth more than my team. The only thing is they've got this kid up front. I mean, he's not bad or anything, but he's not who I would be picking if I had a choice. Why aren't they playing Marcus Rashford? Well, I don't understand, but that's all right. I don't have to. Although this is not the lineup because they're obviously not going to be playing this guy. But look at that. This is... 
what a team. <laughs> this is going to be something else. Contract. Uh, wage. So their top paid player has more, I think, than our entire team. Nope, entire team budget is 13 million flat. So, any two players that are in the lineup at all will have, will be paid more than our entire team. Ooh, this is going to be a challenge. So, enough faffing about, let's get into it. Anyway, I know conventional wisdom says go counter, but we, we've gotten here by attacking. Let's see if we can continue to do that. Boo. All right, well, two important players to get highly motivated. Slivka and Cotton. Cotton is also the top scorer not only in the Scottish League but in the Champions League with 14 goals in his 10 matches. They are playing Rashford. Whoa! Nice try. Oh, flicked on but I can't get there. Nice try. Really, this game is about damage limitation. We're, we're basically going to try and keep from getting crushed so that we've got a chance next game. Yeah, that's going to be hard. It won't count. Oh, that's good. He's offside. So the big save that Ripley made counts. Hooray! Melendo. Yeah, they're just really good. <laughs> and they're at home, but if we can keep them to just one or two goals, then who knows? Who knows? I mean, given we were expected to end up in the Europa League this year, I'm not going to cry too much if we don't make it past Man United, but to the semi-final of the Champions League. But uh, it sure would be nice. This is trouble. Yep. <sighs> Very unlikely to miss this, I would think. Yes. Alright, we're not getting much of the ball anyway, so I will go to counter and we'll give it a try. How fast they are, my goodness. Martial. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. Counter's not going to work. I don't want to be back that far. Actually, let's go control. Why did you throw that? Why on earth did you throw that? That was just dumb. Come on, Ripley, be smart, guys. Ugh, they're so strong. Come on, boys. Let's get to the half. No more damage. Oh, dear. 
Miss. All right. I'm not going to tell him that performance is disappointing. Actually, maybe I will. Yeah. All right, let's go, boys. Motivated and inspired. Find me a goal. Just one would be fine. I'd love to have an away goal to go home with. Look how little room they give us in the midfield. They're so quick to get on us. Oh, no, Cotton. You're usually better than that, buddy. That's a goal. Yep. Damn. 3 0 is going to be hard to come back from. They just give us absolutely no room at all. And they're so fast. They've got such great speed in this team. Whoa, hello. Nice steal. Brown. Korach. Nope. No, no, four goals, damn it. That's a hat trick for Rashford, isn't it? No, okay, no, it didn't. thought it was. <sighs> Rough. However, Olympique Lyon came in here and got beaten 8 nothing. So, But I don't think we're going to get through this round. Look at his pace. Ripley. That was just poor. Could see. We'll have Crane come on over here. Oh, Slivka's had a wretched game. I'll trust Cotton. <sighs> oh, good stop. Let's get out of here with our pride intact, at least. Well, it had to happen. It had to happen eventually. Lots of bookings, not much in the way of chances. Oh well.
I want to say I'm far from pleased, although actually I'm not really that displeased. I don't think we played badly, we just got beat by a better team. Laudrup was keeping an eye on Adrian Cotton for his next England squad. I'd love to see him get called up to England. He really is a terrific young player. Okay. Well, could be better, could be worse. The rotten part is we have to play Rangers in three days, and then we have to play Man United again three days after that. So, yes, it's going to be a tough week. It's going to be a tough week. We'll be back. Uh, I'll play Rangers offline. We'll be back with Man United and Dunfermline. We haven't quite won the Premiership yet, but we're getting close. We're 12 points up with six matches to go. So if we win our next match and they lose, we should have it. Um, but we'll see. All right. Sorry about that. I wish I could have given you a better one, but that's uh, the way the cookie crumbles. I hope it's worth a like anyway. And um, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you don't mind subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you, and take care.